Welcome to Phone Doctor's tutorial videos. We'll show you step by step how to repair the iPhone 5C charging port, headset jack, bottom mic. On a scale from 1 to 10, this repair difficulty is rated a 7. The estimated time for this repair is 30 minutes. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. Don't forget with the original screw mat, you will never lose a screw again. Screw mat is available for most popular Android and Apple devices. For all your DIY kits, screw mats, and repair tool needs, visit us at PhoneDoctors.com. Use coupon code iPhone5C110 and receive 10% off your entire purchase. You can also find and visit us on all the popular social networks. Now, let's get started on the repair. Step 1. Ensure your device is powered down. Step 2. Remove the two bottom screws with the pentalobe screwdriver. Step 3. If the glass of your device is shattered severely, it's best to use a suction cup to pull up the screen. If the digitizer is badly shattered, it's best to use the metal spudger tool. Be careful not to scratch up or dent the housing when prying up the LCD. Step 4. Remove the four LCD screws with the double zero Phillips screwdriver. This is so you can unplug the LCD digitizer flex cables. Then, remove the LCD digitizer shield. Step 5. Unplug the three LCD digitizer flex cables from the board. Step 6. Remove the two Phillips screws to remove the battery shield and to unplug the battery flex cable. Unplug the battery flex. The adhesive is very strong on the 5C battery, so pry up very gently and try not to puncture the battery. Be very cautious. A punctured battery can burn you or start a fire. Step 7. Unplug the charging port flex cable and antenna connector. Step 9. Remove Phillips screw from the ringer speaker and pry up the ground connector and home button contact prongs. Step 8. Remove the ringer speaker. Step 10. Remove the five Phillips screws, then remove the ground connection.
Then, gently pry out the charging port, mic, headset, jack assembly. Step 11. Align the changing port assembly. And insert the five Phillips screws. but not before aligning the ground connection like so. Step 12. Insert the ringer speaker with the ground connection on top of it Then insert the two Phillips screws into place and plug the antenna connector and charging port flex cable back on the board. Set the home button connection prongs back into place. Step 13. Insert battery and plug in the battery flex connector back to board. Align the battery shield and insert the two Phillips screws. Step 14. Insert LCD protective shield back on the LCD frame and insert all six Phillips screws. Step 15. Insert the proximity front camera flex back into the LCD frame. Make sure it's securely inserted or your proximity sensor will not work. Step 16. Align ear speaker back into place. Step 17. If the proximity shield needs a little bending to fit on the LCD frame, now is the time to do so. Align shield and insert the two Phillips screws. Step 18. Insert the physical home button into the housing and align the home button flex.
Align the home button shield and insert the two Phillips screws. Step 19. Plug all three LCD digitizer connectors back onto the board. Align the shield and insert all four Phillips screws. Step 20. Snap LCD digitizer back into the housing securely. Make sure everything is flush with the housing. Step 21. Insert the two pentalobe screws back into the bottom of housing. We hope our video tutorial has helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorial and tech videos. Thanks again for watching.